Hey guys, welcome back to the comic book lowdown. I'm Wellington, and uh, bring you guys the lowdown looks video for the week of October 16th. Um, got five books. Only two of them are new from this week. One of them from last week, and the other two are back issues from either a couple weeks ago or years ago. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna get into the books. It's actually my second attempt on this video. The folly of recording on your phone is that you get phone calls in the middle of your video and it ruins it. So anyways, I'll go through this fast. First one is Superior Spider-Man issue 19. Really cool cover by Stegman. Um, and I've been enjoying the arc. I hate Doc Ock Spidey, but I love the 2099 Spider-Man. And uh, a lot of people are jumping off the book. I can totally see it. Um, you know, if I didn't pick the book up, I could live. Uh, but I really want to get the Venom arc that happens next, uh, arc. And then the Green Goblin arc will probably happen after that. So, yeah. Um, a book that I'm just now getting in hard cup or hard copy is, uh, Animal Man issue 24 with an awesome cover. Uh, yeah, the two books, two new books this week have great covers, and, um, this will probably be my pick of the week, seeing as how I've only got two new books to review. Well, this book could be my pick of the week coming in from last week, um, Captain America issue number 12, again, another sweet cover with Nuke on it. Nuke is a character I am familiar with from Daredevil Born Again. Uh, yeah, he's... They, in that story, they kind of, uh... Kingpin tried to replace Daredevil with Nuke, and they gave him a Daredevil costume and everything, and then Daredevil and Nuke battled each other in Daredevil costumes. It was really cool. I recommend uh, Born Again, and I also recommend Captain America, because Rick Remender can do no wrong. Unless you don't like his writing. Um, actually, you know what? This book could be book of the week as well. And as you guys can see, I'm in the back issues section of my video, my haul. Um, this came out two weeks ago, but uh, my shop was shorted. And this is Marvel Knights Spider-Man issue number one. Again, really cool cover. Um, some people said it's amazing. Some people said it sucked. I'm gonna think it's amazing because it's Peter Parker Spider-Man, and who's a Matt Kent and Marco Rudy. Um, I only know Val Staples, who I'm guessing does the colors or inks or whatever. I only know that name. Um, but yeah, and the final book is the back issue I got from the one dollar bin because it's in, it's damaged, but um, I figured I'll get another copy of this another day in my life. And uh, if I can snag a copy of this for a dollar, have it as a reader's copy, it'd be really cool. So uh, I went ahead and got Scarlet Spider issue number one. And you guys know that I love Scarlet Spider, so, uh, you know, this, I, I was debating on it, but I was like, you know, dollar, dollar bin issue. And, I mean, it was damaged. Uh, one, of the corner, one of the corners on a page is bent, and uh, actually it was like, cut bad when it was produced because there was like a big extra piece of paper and uh, the guy at my shop he cut it for me and uh, it's better now um, it just wasn't produced well it wasn't manufactured well but it's Scarlet Spider issue number one don't have the issue um, and so this will probably just be a reader's copy uh, and I'll get another one some other day but I'm glad to have at least one now so that's my haul, guys. That's it for me. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm Wellington signing off with the comic book lowdown. I'll see you guys next time.